Welcome to the Can-Am Crew YouTube channel. In this epic adventure, we're hitting the road for 40 days and traveling for over 7,000 miles to ride some of the most amazing trail systems the U.S. has to offer. From Alabama to Utah to South Dakota and many, many more, we're going to be in over 20 states to ride some of the most scenic, wild trails that we can find. It's not all going to be about riding, though. We'll stop along the way at places like the Cadillac Ranch, the Grand Canyon, Hoover Dam, the Devil's Tower, and Mount Rushmore. This is going to be the adventure of a lifetime, and we're extremely excited to share it with you on our YouTube videos. So do us a favor, hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, and we'll see you out on the trail. somewhere in Arkansas right now just past Little Rock about an hour ago stop for fuel I think this is a shell or a Phillips 66 maybe I'm not sure we just stopped out back Scott's checking uh, tire pressure to make sure he's good we let the dogs go to the bathroom and um, as of right now we have how many miles we have so far in this trip like 1700 yeah about 1700 miles we both started our trip at the same time and me and scott him being a 6.6 uh, .6 duramax diesel and this being a 6.2 liter gas engine we are 20 dollars difference in fuel cost i'm averaging 8.8 .8 to 8.9 miles per gallon towing and he's getting around 12 miles per gallon it's just the cost of diesel you know the cost of diesel is more than gas so it'll be interesting to see i mean we still have like this is a 7,000 mile trip so we still have a ways to go to see but it's interesting to see how close we still are all good it's a little bit low same one what's that the same tires low what 76.5 we'll all to... the other tires are 78 or 79 so it obviously has a slow lead. Maybe, we'll, maybe when we get there, you can drive a little bit and I'll look around and see if we can find I a hole or something. I just her back up and I looked at it and I don't see anything. Nothing? All right. So, I uh, mean, obviously it's not a hole in the tire because it would be way low. Yeah. 
So maybe check the valve cap. Maybe yeah. squirt a little stuff in the valve valve stem and see if it's leaking out of there. Right. I was updating everybody on where we're at. Okay. Yeah, it's nothing like concerning. Okay. At least right now. Hour and a half we'll be there. I mean, we've drove. I don't know how long we just drove since we checked it. Oh, it's it's been a few hours. A couple hours at yeah. least, right? Two, yeah. Two and a half hours. Yeah. So well, that was. It probably only lost like a pound and a half. I think that was around 10 or 11 this morning. We were at like Walmart and Applebee's. Yeah. And now it's, I don't know what time it is, four, something five, like I don't know, something like that. So we left uh, Stony Lonesome in Alabama this morning. We stopped in Tupelo, Mississippi. I think that's what it's called. And uh, we got gas there. We ate some late breakfast, early lunch, and now we're in Arkansas. So we crossed the Mississippi River, which was really cool. We've never been to the Mississippi. You guys have all seen bits and pieces of the time-lapse videos I've been taking on the travels here, crossing the bridge. And it's been, it's been flat for, it's been flat since we left Alabama, huh? The road's pretty much been flat. It's pretty wild to see flat roads. We don't see that anywhere. You might go a mile on flat where we're from and then it's either up or down so but an hour and a half we'll be getting there they're going to be closed so we'll just get there set up and then in the morning we'll go check in so we'll see you when we get there we got in last night this is the next morning from the last clip you saw and uh once we got set up, it was getting dark, so I wanted to wait until this morning to get the camera out and show you where we're staying. This place is absolutely beautiful. A nice little wooded section that you get into. Scott pulled in, I backed in so we could face each other. Nice bathhouse up here. Very good Verizon service. Uh, T-Mobile service too, I believe is what Scott and them have. AT&T Wi-Fi work, so good service here. Kind of sitting up on top of, uh, I'd say, a mountain. It was a little climb to get up here. But if you're new to the channel, um, I'm sure we're going to pick up some new folks to the channel riding all these new places. This is this is my wife Sherry's. We just picked this one up. It's a 23 base model X3 with uh, all of her goodies off of her other machine. A couple videos ago, you can see that. This is mine, CT uppers and lowers, high clearance trailing arms, full cage, Halo 30 front diff. And this is Scott's, he's on uh, is a 2020 X3, 195 horsepower, 35 Zillas, high clearance trailing arms, CT radius rods, and uh, he's running our diff right now. So this is where we're at, we're spot five and six in uh, Arkansas, which is really cool. We've never been to Arkansas ever. So now we get to ride here and take you along for the ride. There's supposed to be some really cool scenic stuff here. We're really excited to take you out and show you. Um, but I'm going to eat some bacon. And then we're going to hit the trails. Bacon. Bacon. All right. We'll see you out here in a little bit. Uh, I'm going to have to check our bags. I don't think we keep snacks in ours, though. Something got in Scott's haversack bag. Chewed a hole through it. I don't know. We heard something last night. We're not sure what it was. Oh my god. Look at the inside of the buggy. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm at a loss for words, man. It, you can tell they were all over the buggy was it, was it a raccoon i would assume oh my goodness okay well they really like the uh how did they get it? snacks now tell me how they got all of that out of that hole well, i have no idea and then them stinking raccoons they got like human hands one, two, three, four. Like sugar and it left a dump on Scott's cage in plastic. I mean, yeah, I can get a new one. <laughs> but 
it left paw prints climbing down the side of his side by side, which was how we were able to identify it. And there's one on the thing. And there's one here. Son of a on my side by side. <laughs> I'm still filming. <laughs> Look at the paw prints are all over your dash. <laughs> It's ev they're everywhere. <laughs> Ringtail. <laughs> he was like, let me give you your gummies back. Over. <laughs> 15, it was like 25. Okay, we're getting ready to head up, get checked in. I just wanted to jump on here real quick and let you know that uh, for those of you that know, I sell tablets on our website preloaded with over 40 different trail systems and we just acquired this and this is the Mill Creek area. This is where we're riding here. Um, there's a lot of trails all over through here. So if you're looking for a map system of near the Ozarks and Mill Creek and Birds Adventure Center and Mulberry Mountain and all that, we'll have them on our website. When we get back in July, I'll be able to add these and uh, send out um, updates for uh, for everybody that had already bought tablets so I just wanted to make mention of that if you're looking I know you know it's still gonna be a couple weeks from now until we're back but if you can hold off a little bit and grab one then you're welcome to it and uh, I think we're gonna go up to the office we'll show you up there around the office and uh, we have to pay for our campsites and I think you pay like three dollars a machine or something like that or maybe three dollars a person at the trailhead for uh, riding the trails here. I'll find out and let you know. So we just went in, we paid for our campsites. Um, we got some ice, got some wristbands for the campground, got some drinks. So now we're gonna leave here. This is where we're camping. This is where we're at. And we're gonna go right here, which is called the fee station. And that's where you pay at the trailhead. I don't know if it's like the honor system or what, but we'll go up there, we'll take you up there. He said it's $3 per day per machine, which is absolutely crazy to ride here, it seems like. So we're gonna take you up to the pay station. Okay, deposit money. somewhere safe. testing purposes okay we did our duty we paid to ride three dollars <laughs> I just can't get over how cheap it is and how you pay to ride here I take a picture. okay let's go see some cool stuff look at that view
it out and check it out. This will be our first stop on the trail in Arkansas. Hey Coop, grab my drone. I don't know. I don't know where it goes. It's a nice little climb there. Mr. Squeaky. It's the Heim joints. Any any machine that has Heims, they're always squeaky. You gotta spray them down constantly. <laughs> <laughs> don't mind the noise he looked over and laughed i don't know if you could see his face but he was laughing that's funny we'll have to spray them down oh this is pretty slick cooper's getting a drone i think we're gonna fly the drone this looks awesome oh wow i forgot to spray my machine <laughs> look at that view scott oh my god wow Dang. Holy smokes. Hey, so far I really like Arkansas. We've been on the trail for about five minutes. <laughs> what do you think, Emma? I think it's pretty cool. Sherry wants to get some pictures.
my machine real slow. Emma loves this stuff. See them all? What? Out in front about 10 feet. Butterflies. Here, take this camera up with you in case they fly away. Film them. Is it on? Yeah, it's on. I'm not know. sure. They're probably in my book. I have They're everywhere though, flying. I have They're like zebra colors. Huh? I have my book with me. Okay. We're gonna go check out the 60 foot falls. I can hear the water. I don't know how much water. 60 foot falls. This is on the map. Got to walk to it. This is awesome. Check this out. Look at that. How cool does that look? Wow. Coop, go under it. Come on, do it for YouTube. Do it for YouTube. Go in it, come on. Uh, is it cold? <laughs> you gonna do it for YouTube? I gotta get down there first. You're gonna go in it? Maybe. Yeah, she said you're she said if she did you had to. <laughs> oh, you be careful. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Is it cold? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I bet. <laughs> That's awesome. Man, I bet this just looks wild with a lot of heavy rain. It probably comes flying down over that. This is a really cool spot. I would say definitely a must do when you come here, ride these trails. You definitely gotta come check this out. Just, cameras never do this kind of stuff justice. It just looks really cool. Should be right on top of that other waterfall here, Coop. Probably. I just want to stop here and look because you can walk right onto it. Wow. Look at this. We're parked right here. That lizard is an eastern fence lizard. Cool. And then that is a now the color of that water is really crazy. Oh, I'm good. Oh, wow. Okay. Dang, look at that. I hear you swim in there. <laughs> I bet you, you could. It doesn't, I mean, it looks, pretty deep. It looks deep, yeah. It's so 
teal. It's so pretty wow. looking. Check it's this amazing. out. How awesome is this? I'm gonna drop it full in the water. <laughs> Dang. And that wild. Yes. What's the color of that? What do you call that? Teal. Teal? Hold on. If you ride here, have you ever jumped off of here and went swimming? Looks tempting. I mean, we jumped off the waterfall at uh, Tackett Creek, but this one's a little bit higher. A little bit? It's probably three or four times higher than the one we jumped off. <laughs> This is just so cool. Keeps going. Oh, adding to it. Oh man, it just keeps going up and up and up. That massive rock sitting right there. Wow. Sherry had a log stuck, so we grabbed our battery saw here, big dog. I bet he had scratch on it, hands on it. Yeah, geez. Yeah. Got bent it a little bit too. It bent, I think it bent them both. That one's up and that one's down, I think. Yeah, well, hopefully, maybe, maybe it'll go back. A yeah. Back what do you want, like, right here? I don't know. I honestly don't know. I was trying to cut it at an angle down and I was going to try to cut it at an angle up. I was going to say, if we cut it, this is skinnier here. It might go back this way. Okay. Uh oh. It's getting tight. Cut. Can you cut down? Do you want me to lift up on it? Will that help? Now, let me get another cut at it here. Here, you film. Let me grab the, uh... Let me grab this front. I might yeah, be able push, to... push it in a little bit. In? Yeah, towards, towards the, machine? the machine, yeah. There we go. How's that? Keep going. Yeah. Okay. Alright, so it's off. Say it's skinnier up top if you push it. Oh. Yeah, I think I think we can just. Which way do you want to go with it? Use that log and hit right here. Okay. I think it'll come right out. You want me to hit it like this? Yeah. It's coming. 
There it is. Oh, look, they don't even look that bent now. No. This, bo this bottom one's this way a little bit, but I think yeah. it'll be okay. I should have put my RC ones back on. All right. My Surgery mom and dad got complete. me this for Christmas. <laughs> it works really it a good. Lot, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't look too, too bad. This thing works really good. We okay. Have, we have spares just in case. Let's see. Do some. Hey, now. <laughs> Press it on yours, Ellis. <laughs> okay. I've heard a lot about Frog Bayou. So that's where we're headed now. Looks like it's going to be quite a ways, maybe an hour or two ride. get going so it can get its mom. Yeah. Man, I couldn't get the camera all quick enough, but like six pigs ran out in front of me. Yeah, two big ones. Two, yeah, two real big ones and a couple babies. We'll keep moving. We don't want to keep the baby from its mama, so we'll get out of our way and let them meet back up, but that was really cool. The only other time we ever saw uh, pigs were at uh, Windrock. But we did read there were feral pigs here, I think Sherry said. That was really cool. That's, it's not something we see all the time on the trail, that's for sure. So close. Everything you're seeing in this video, look amazing with some more water on it. Oh 
freaking butterflies everywhere down here. Holy cow. I'm so bummed out there's not more water on this. <laughs> this is the watercolor is crazy. Oh, there's a snake. Hey. There's a snake right there in the water. You see it? Oh my gosh. Yeah. What do you think, Em? You like it? Yeah. That's wild, isn't it? <laughs> Probably slick too. Yeah, it is. <laughs> if you've never been here, Arkansas, Mill Creek, you gotta put it on your list. Just, it's epic absolutely amazing the stuff that you can see here i'm gonna go down and i'm gonna get some shots from down here everyone it is the next morning from the last clip that you saw we got back hung out set up set up camp over here last night to watch for that what we thought was a ringtail turns out it was a raccoon of course we should have should have known but we had we had seats set up over here and it was like 10 10 30 me and Sherry walked over to the bathroom over here, which is right there. And then Scott went in, and they were watching outside of their camper door, or camper window. Me and Sherry started walking back, got to the front of the truck, and they yelled over that the raccoon was in front here. But there's raccoon prints all through our side by sides. They got a bag of cheese doodles. And then he come over here, and we have, those are all motion lights that come on at night when they're solar. And, uh... The light turned on and they got a picture in a, or a video of the raccoon uh, on my grill. There's the cheese doodles he got. Footprints everywhere. Up front, footprints all over Sherry's. Footprints in Scott's. What's that? <laughs> Telling everybody about the footprints everywhere again. Uh oh. Got all over your seat right there. Yep. Looks like he was clawing up on here too. Yeah, he's looking for that. Have a sack, the back but... of the back of Sherry's bag. It looks like he was trying to get into, but the one with the tools. No, this one here. You can see all the dust rubbed off of it. Mm. Right now we're packing up, and we're gonna head to Disney, Oklahoma, to ride, and then from Disney I think we're gonna go to Crossbar. We were originally going to um, skip Crossbar. Cause I didn't really hear too much, but I've seen some videos and stuff. But I know Disney was on our list, and uh, we were told that we should add Crossbar. That's a really cool place. So we actually took a day from here. We were going to be here two days, or two and a half days. So we decided to stay here a day and a half, and then go to Disney for a day and a half, and then go, go to Crossbar for a day and a half. So I think that's the plan. Subject to change, of course. Um, I was told Disney was a, a smaller place, so we might stay there a day and then leave, go across the bar for two. But we're not on any 
particular schedule so whenever we get there if we want to stay we stay if we want to leave we can leave so but that's the that's the game plan coming up and um huge shout out to all of our channel members sponsors up on the screen here really appreciate you guys watching and and liking and commenting and um stick around a few more days you'll see another video pop up and we'll see you on that one